Mohammed, here's my probably biggest question about the overall economy as we head into the second half. It looks like consumers are still spending, but they've been spending down their savings. Inflation remains stubbornly high. The essentials cost more, and the cost of borrowing is certain to rise. So is there the risk of this consumer vice where consumers could slam the brakes more quickly than historically? Thanks, John, for having me. Yes, absolutely, there's the risk. Um, we left out three additional things. The Fed is hiking aggressively into a slowing economy. The fiscal impetus is now negative, and exports aren't doing too well. So you, you have these various components all coming together and slowing our economy much faster than we'd like it. Does the Fed have any choice, though? No, it doesn't. It got it was late and it fell into the worst trap, which is you have to play catch up. But your window for hiking rates in an orderly fashion has closed. So rather than helping the economy soft land, the Fed now risks actually contributing to a hard landing. And that's that's of its own making because it is so late. Right. So uh, let's look at the Delivering Alpha stock survey. We asked uh, 500 money managers about uh, how the Fed has been doing. 55 percent said the Fed is rightly getting more aggressive in fighting inflation. You just said uh, they don't really have any choice, but it sure would have been nice if they had started fighting it earlier. What do you put as the odds that the Fed is going to end up with a hard landing because of the corner they sort of painted themselves into? Unfortunately, John, it's, it's a very high probability. Um, the Fed is a good year late. So when you are so late, you're going to have no choice but to hike aggressively. Um, and let's not forget that it also has to reestablish its damage credibility. So I'm afraid that it's a high probability. It's uncomfortably high and it's worrisomely high. Now, that's different from what a lot of people have been saying that I've been hearing and I've been asking this week, saying, oh, well, a recession isn't the base case scenario. And here are all the ways a soft landing can happen. Various CEOs have been saying this. It seems like nobody wants to say what you're saying. But does that mean that uh, the scenario you're laying out is not priced in as far as what you say is likely to happen in the second half or a lot of people in denial? So as Mike said, we've started to price it in. You know, the first driver of the sell-off was all about interest rate risk, about the fact that the Fed was behind, it was going to have to hike, and the market was pushing the Fed to hike. And the market got carried away in terms of pricing in quite a few hikes. That was phase one of the sell-off. In phase two, recession fears started creeping in. And that is what's driving the market right now. It is much less inflation fears. It is now the mix of a recession fear and also the realization that the probability of a Fed policy error is very high. 